this morning at 10. And uh, I'd like to start by asking Brother uh, Craig Hulson if he would come and, and uh, do the opening prayer. Good morning, everyone. We want to just say this morning uh, it's an honor and privilege and uh, uh, to be here with you this morning. We appreciate uh, Judge Markham inviting us to come this morning and, and uh, just uh, opening with prayer. Glad that you all are doing that. So. If you pray with me, bow with me, we we'll pray this morning. Father, we just come before you this morning, Lord, and, and Father, we uh, know and understand, Lord, that, uh, Father, there's a lot wrong, Lord, in our land, in our country today, God, and we know, Lord, that it's time, and Lord, it's high time that we as the church, Lord, and Lord, as our people, Lord, would return to prayer, God would return to worship, and Lord, to, to uh, again, once again, stand Lord, upon your word, Lord, and the truth of your word, and God, to live out your teachings, Lord, Jesus, that you have taught us, and Lord, to live you out, Lord, before uh, a lost and dying world, and Father, we just count it a privilege to be here this morning, Lord, uh, to be a part of this, Lord, we count it, Lord, a, a great honor, Lord, to, to be among a community, Lord, Father, with leadership, Lord, that recognizes you, and God, that allows you to be part of this, Lord. And Father, that invites you in, Lord, and seeks your counsel, Lord, in the decisions that they make. God, we just thank you for that. Lord, we know that prayer and, and worship and the things of God begin at home, Lord, and with individuals. But Lord, we believe that, Lord, you are to be part of our government, Lord. We, we believe that we'd be a lot better off, Lord, if you were part of it. Again, Lord, we know our founding fathers, Lord, look to you. And God, we just thank you for men and women, Lord, that are doing that today. We thank you, Lord, for this physical court. God, for this judge, we pray, Lord, that you'd bless them, that, God, you'd help them in their decision-making. Lord, we know that, Lord, you've placed them here for this time and this season, God. And so we pray, God, that you give them wisdom, Lord, and understanding, and, God, that you would help them. God, just as uh, Solomon, Lord, faced a great task, Lord, and, Father, you gave him the wisdom to do what he needed to do. God, we know that you'll give this group here, Lord, of leaders, Lord, wisdom to do what they need to do. God, we just ask that you be with them, that, God, you bless them, that you bless their homes. God, that you would help them, Lord, as they uh, go about their business. God, that you would protect them. God, as we look around here today, God, we see our sheriff here, Lord, and uh, his staff, and we see our attorney here, Lord, today. We know, Lord, that they are here to uh, uphold the law and enforce that. God, we, and we pray today, God, that you would protect them, God, that you would keep them in your care, Lord. And, Father, we pray a special blessing this morning, Lord, upon our judge, upon our friend, Lord, Randy. This morning, Lord, we pray that you just help him. And, God, that you just continue to bless him, Lord, and bless this physical court and these people, Lord, and people of our county, Lord. Let us represent you well, Lord. Let us uphold your truth, Lord, in this land, Lord. And let, Lord, Lord let those that don't believe, Lord, see you in us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. amen brother. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Craig. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Entertain a motion to approve the minutes. We have the minutes from the special call meeting, and then uh, we can judge I'll make that motion. Motion made by Magistrate Scaggs. I second it. Second by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor of approving the minutes signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Mr. Dumbo? Ready for me? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I thought I was going to go to the line. Yeah, let's don't, let's Let Bob let's pay the bill. Let's get first. Yeah. <laughs> Bob uh, I need a motion to pay the bills. I make a motion to pay the bills, Judge. Motion made by Magistrate uh, Richardson to pay the bills. I second. Second by Magistrate Wilson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got my pages ahead. right, we can do it. Okay. <laughs> Average inmate population was 94 for the month. Prescription copay $373.83. 
Nurse visit, $74.60. House bill, $452, $380.22. House and state inmates, $44,669.76. Booking fees collected, $2,091.84. Phone commission, $8,580.23. Uh, CAD interest reimbursement $2.88, <coughs> canteen reimbursement $677.09, per diem collected $2,545.94, interest $25.68, so for a total $59,422.07 with a difference of uh, $87,440.61. Had five errors and 45 minutes overtime. Uh, when I left the jail, I had 34 state inmates, 11 Clinton County, 39 Russell County for a total of 84. Motion to approve the I'll make a motion. Defense Center Court Magistrate. I'll second it. I mean, uh, what else? Second by Magistrate Richardson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. All right, Sheriff. For the month of May, the Russell County Sheriff's Office responded to 490 call, 499 calls for service, which that's up from the previous month. We had 32 arrests, we had 10 domestics work, we had 13 traffic stops, we had 16 accidents with uh, no injuries, we had 8 accidents with injuries, we had 18 motorists assist, we had 16 alarm calls answered, we had 3 animal complaints answered. Had 33 requests for deputies. We had eight shots fired complaints. We had 17 suspicious person complaints. We had 12 welfare checks, two trespassing complaints, and two shooting, two shootings. Also, that there was 384 other calls with that. The mental health transports was six, six to Adonta, and four to Eastern State, and two back home. Had 55 court papers served. 11 juvenile summonses in, 8 subpoenas, 3 eviction notices, 28 civil summonses. Had 95 prisoner transports, court security deputies drove 4,370 miles. Had 62 vehicle inspections, had 14 concealed deadly weapons permits issued, and collected $7,359.04 worth of real estate taxes for May 2024. I'll make a motion. Second. Motion made by Magistrate Waddell, second by Magistrate Skaggs to approve the Sheriff's uh, report. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Sheriff, and then we got the uh, Russell County Sheriff's local tax settlements in your packet. Those don't need to be approved. They don't need to be approved. They're accepted. Yeah, I need a motion to accept that. I make a motion to approve. I'll say. Motion made by Magistrate Richardson, second by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. I think that was what, $12,592,026.43 collected. Of course, all that's pending state audit. And uh, you can see we balanced within just a few cents of it. Proud of all the girls in the office that collects that much money comes through their sheriff's office. You know, they do a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. Uh, next, you have the uh, treasurer's uh, monthly settlement report and uh, pre approved uh, AE transfers in your packet. Give a motion to accept that if you could. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Magistrate Skaggs. I'll make that motion. Second, Richardson. All those in favor of approving those, signal by the Aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Now we need to do the second reading of the uh, Ordinance 2403, the budget amendment. This is an ordinance relating to the fiscal year 23-24 annual budget and amendment thereof, whereas the Russell County Fiscal Court has realized unbudget receipts from the following funds. Be it ordained by the Russell County Fiscal Court of the Commonwealth of Kentucky in Section 1, the budget for fiscal year 23-24 is amended to increase slash decrease the receipts of the following funds to include unbudgeted receipts from the general fund uh, for payroll tax in the amount of $470,113.72 and the general fund for the net profits tax in the amount of $101,358.68 and the jail fund for House Bill 556 in the amount of $31,494 and the jail fund for state inmates in the amount of $104,146.48 
and the jail fund for reimbursement of miscellaneous in the amount of $49,226.90, and the tourism fund for the room tax in the amount of $21,169.82, and a dispatch for transfers and districts in the amount of $3,840.58 and dispatch under the cities and ambulance in the amount of $20,833.50 <coughs> in an airport project account for prior year carryover in the amount of $111,016.79 for the total amended revenues at $913,200.27. On the B in section B on the appropriation side in the general fund, it will be go to reserve for transfer in the amount of $571,472.40. And the jail fund reserved for transfer in the amount of $184,867.38. And the tourism fund reserved for transfer in the amount of $21,169.82. And the dispatch fund reserved for transfer in the amount of $24,673.88. And in the airport project fund, we serve for transfer in the amount of $111,016.79. The total limited appropriations in the amount of $913,200.27. Section 2, the amounts adjusting the revenue accounts in Section 1 are for governmental purposes only. This is the second reading. I need a motion to approve this budget amendment. Motion made by Magistrate Wilson. I'll second it. Second by Magistrate Richardson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Thank you, John. Next on the agenda is the uh, second uh, reading of Ordinance 2404, uh, Canvas Business Operations. Um, we need to read that again. Uh, ordinance number 2404, an ordinance relating to the prohibition of cannabis business operations in the County of Russell. Whereas on April 15th, 2024, the General Assembly adopted House Bill 829, signed into law by, governor, by the governor on April 17th, 2024, amending the KRS Chapter 218B, the Kentucky Medical Cannabis Chapter. And whereas KRS 218B.090 and 218B.130 authorized local governments to prohibit cannabis business operations within their territory through the passage of an ordinance. And, whereas it is necessary and appropriate and in the best interest of health, safety, and welfare of the county of Russell residents and members of the public who visit, travel, or conduct business in the county of Russell to prohibit all cannabis business within the boundaries of the county of Russell. And whereas the county of Russell wishes to utilize the authority granted to it by KRS 218B.090 and 218B.130 to prohibit cannabis operations within the county of Russell. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Russell County Fiscal Court of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So, so second reading, we'll need a motion on it, but I guess there's some explanations too. Um, and I, I said this the last time. This doesn't mean that there won't be a cannabis dispensary or uh, whatever you call it, a pharmacy in Russell County, uh, the cities can still bring one in, and, and if there's going to be one, I don't see anybody building one outside of the city limits, that it's probably not going to be in the county, and they're only going to give so many, and I know that uh, Pulaski County has already voted it down, uh, Casey County has voted it down, so um, well, in the end, no outside those. Once the state regulate all this in the end, they I mean, will. They ought to be the ones that, doing it anyway yeah, instead of sure. us. People that's well, taking mail prescriptions it. now with it, right. so it's not the, we're not saying it's nobody's ever going to use it or can't use it. That's not what this says. Well, I make a motion we don't pass it. I'm, I'm, I'm second that. Did we pass that we sign this? We pass yeah. it. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and right. Larry seconds it. Yeah. yeah, that we, it not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand. So motion made by Magistrate Richardson, seconded by Magistrate Skaggs. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. Next is a review and adopt the administrative codes uh, for 24-25. And the only thing that was changed in this, if y'all didn't get a chance to read it, was a bereavement policy, right? Mm -hmm. The bereavement the policy was basically limited to uh, for your immediate family, including in-laws. And, um, and uh, they, it, it was like including the day of death 
through the, the, the day of burial. Uh, sometimes like in a, in a situation where some, we had an employee and their father passed away, but they did not have the funeral for like a couple of weeks because one of the children of the, the, the deceased was on vacation and they wanted to wait. So we just felt like it was in the best interest of the court uh, to just limit it to three days. Usually within three days, you know. I mean, that doesn't like that mean people be. can't take off more time if they did, but it just means that we're only paying them for three right. days. They can take leave time or whatever. Yeah. Right. Still on I think that'd be ample amount of time. <coughs> yeah. That's that's what's been changed. That's the only change. That's the only change that's been made. Do you need to vote? Yes. Uh, I'll really make a motion then to accept the motion made by Magistrate Skaggs to adopt the. Uh, no, second. Second by Magistrate Richardson. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh, Any opposed, same sign. Next thing, the motion to pay the uh, Pulaski County uh, $13,375 for the reasonable shelter. I'll and make the motion. Motion made by Magistrate Richardson. I'll second. Second by Magistrate Wilson. And All those in favor, signify the same eye. Yeah. Oh, okay. No eyes? Uh, aye. aye. Sorry about that. Uh, Most of passes. I didn't understand. Uh, what well, you it's the it's the what we pay Pulaski County to take care of animals. Animal, yeah, animal yeah. shelter. Okay, I got it. I understand it now. All right. Uh, motion to I need a motion to transfer fifty thousand dollars from the general fund to the jail fund. I make that motion. I'll second. Motion made by Mr. Skaggs, seconded by. Major Wilson, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Can you oppose the same sign? I've got two uh, tourism board appointments. <coughs> you can just do them at the same time, mm -hmm. the names. Uh, they're just reappointments. Uh, I had a conversation with uh, Danielle this morning. One of them is uh, Stephen uh, Easton, uh, who is the park manager. And I think he was on there for the hotel, whatever, association. And the other one's Kim, Kim Kelsey. And I'd just like to make the motion we re, uh, reappoint them if you're okay with that. I'll make a motion. Motion made by Magistrate Waddell. I'll second. Second by Magistrate Wilson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same sign. Next on the agenda is an interlocal road agreement with the City of Russell Springs. And, and this one is we combined four and five yeah. because we, we did a separate one last right. year. So this one we're just going to do it. And, and that language has been changed. So you'll have. Both of you all will need to sign this if you all choose to. Yeah, there's a sign off on the back where um, we'll all sign it. Need a motion to approve that in the local agreement. I'll make a motion to approve, Judge. Motion made by Magistrate uh, Richardson. In a second. You don't want that. I'll say Second by Magistrate Wilson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Uh, a resolution 2412 Community Development Grant. This is uh, the grant that I guess uh, Representative uh, uh, Branscom got for the uh, the first one is for uh, $3 million that's going to the library. Uh, we need to approve this because it's a pass-through and it comes through the county, comes through the physical court to get in, uh, dispersed back to well, it's uh, just, the It's library. just a pass-through. Pass we, we don't know which way it's going yet, whether they're going to give us the money up front and <coughs> hand it out when they get it. We just have to wait we get something back on that. Do you have any idea on that, Kevin? Do you have any It's all that yeah, lump of stuff they put together. It is, yeah. Don't know what you know. Right. So, but I need, a, I need a motion so I can sign off on this resolution to allow that money to come into the county. I'll make I'll a motion, make. Judge. Motion made by Magistrate I'll say. Uh, Richardson, second by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. <coughs> Next one is for the hospital. It's a. Uh, Resolution 2413 for the hospital expansion grant. It's a $10 million grant. 
it's coming through the state to pass through to go to the hospital for expansion there. So the motion on it. I'll make motion. Motion I'll made pay. by Magistrate Waddell, second by Magistrate uh, Richardson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, same sign. But people need to understand that's not affecting the county right. anyway, it's just it's passing no, through the right. system. It's no taxes or anything, it's money that the state is actually set aside to give us for, for those purposes. And, and the CEO and one of the uh, board members for the hospital is back there, and it's, uh, I think it's, I mean, it's needed. It's right. needed that we need for this county. Uh, wish we had more. So, anyway. Next up is uh, the Greasy Creek. Uh, it's a 2024-14 uh, uh, HB uh, 723. This is to give Susan uh, the approval to go after some of that money for Greasy Creek. Uh, we're <coughs> Susan, you can talk about this a little bit if you want, but we're basically now we're in a holding issue with the Corps of Engineers for them to sign off on the lease for us to have uh, that land down there where we can build a park and build it out. We're, we're, gonna, we're trying to do trails and Susan, so, do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I have ran up. We're just, we're just waiting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, the House Bill uh, 723, we had already applied through House Bill 990 but then since they totally revamped the criteria, we're having to reapply again for it. So we're just in a holding pattern, as the judge said. Yeah. So what's happened is we had HB9, we applied for that, even on the sports complex, and we were denied this month but then we're going to go back and do it again next month because some of the stuff that they denied us for was there but you know that was just on hb9 money so the same thing they changed it when it started out dlg was going to administer the money and then they moved it over to the agriculture department and they were supposed to you've done the money now they've moved it back into ex economics and they changed all the rules so it's moved around to three different entities and the rules got changed every time they went so they also just changed the application since last Thursday. See. Yeah, they went today. So. Last week we had, she got an application on a Wednesday that had to be done by Friday. Yeah. So that's, that's how fast we're Yeah. 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 That's why we put in that special yeah. colony. Yeah. yeah. I'll make the motion. Motion made by Magistrate Waddell to Second. Seconded by Magistrate Skaggs. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And you the same sign. Mm -hmm. But the court, didn't the court, <laughs> did the court give us that property? That's what we're waiting on. The court is going to give us that property. We're now down to where we've got to do an environmental study on the property, and I just found out Thursday. They do that, don't they? They were, said they were going to do it, but then the price went up, and then they're delaying it, so they don't have people to do it. But uh, I was told at the ad office uh, Thursday that they'll do it for us, so that's the process we're going through now. We get to that. Then we can go into the thing of getting that ground lease to us for yeah. the next forty years or whatever. So. Okay, that's better anyway. Yeah, that's what we're that's what we're trying to do. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> the next one on there is a second reading of the discontinuance of uh, of the Woolen Mill Road. Um, any comments on that one? Yeah, I'd like to take exception to it. That road's been there for over a hundred years. And uh, the county's maintained it, and it provides access to that Greasy Creek watershed, public access. Of course, with this being in District 1 or District 2, I mean, and Mickey not here present today, it would be something that we could table until the next meeting. Yeah. With him here. Well, I guess I'll work that. Sure. Oh, you can come up. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you all back there. This road has not been maintained by the county in 30 or 40 years. The end of it has not. Um, we've lived there now two years, and um, we take care of that. We get dump trucks of gravel that come in, and we do all those things. And that road dead ends right onto the middle of our property. So even if someone wanted to come down there and do a turnaround, if they turned around, they would literally be on our property. So it's just an easement going to our neighbors across the creek at this point. Um, it has been there a very long time, but it's all been made private property, and the Corps of Engineers has signed off on that for us. So I just wanted to thank you. Who signed off on it? The Corps of Engineers signed off of it when Ron Phillips owned it. 
So all of that is now private property. The dam part and the entire, there's like different tracks. There's like seven tracks of property that belong to us. And um, that whole entire section is private property now. But even even the road going across the creek, there yes. used to be a the road on the other side of the creek. It is not, um, you can't get through Harris to Harris Road through there anymore. How come? It's not. You can't drive the across the creek? You can drive across the creek. The Aikens live there now. Um, their house is across the creek, uh -huh. but to get on the other side, yep. it's not maintained at all. It's completely bushy and overgrown, and it leads into a um, cornfield. Huh. So, yeah. Yeah, so sorry. Thank well, you. There's so, any questions? Okay. So, you want to weigh on I'll the magistrate? I'll tell you probably. To make it here, it's in his district. I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Mine too. It's fine. So we're going to take a list of the next meeting when the when your magistrate is here, uh, so we can bring it back up. Okay. I know we used to. Everybody <coughs> used to go down there on Sundays and stuff, and they'd wash their vehicles. Yeah, they did. That place used to be twenty or thirty. Well, she's saying that it's now been turned yeah. over. She's saying it's now been turned over where it's private property. I think between now and then, Mickey can figure that out. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it's private property across the creek. Lewis, you've been. How long has it been shut down? The, the road that turned off the left's been shut down. The core and fish and wildlife shut it off about 10 years ago. That's probably when. Ma'am, who did you say had the property before? Ron Phillips. Phillips. Um, Maybe that's he owned it for the last 15 years. <clears throat> that's probably when it was. Yeah. How come you want it shut down? Well, um, because it's private property and you have to. Well, it's not it. private property yet, is it? Well, Until we vote on it? Yeah. And that, so Y'all own the creek too? Yes, yes sir. You own the creek? Yes sir. I don't think so. The Corps of Engineers signed off. Uh, oh, they give you the creek? Yes sir. I never heard of that. Yes. We have paperwork and documentation that shows that it's private, it's that whole section of the creek and everything is private property. I didn't know they could even get that. That's the way mine. Yes. That's the way mine. I'm like Terry. I've never heard of that. So now the best thing to do is wait till Mickey let, let him do some research and then figure out. Yeah. So everybody's good on. I have a question though. Okay. Since huh? uh, because this because it was the second. I'll make a motion that we table this to the next yeah. meeting. I'll second it. We can do that. Um, since it was, I had to advertise. Will I have to re-advertise again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kevin. Just want to make sure. Do they give it? And so they what give you got to you understand, you're not closing the road. Yeah, that's you're just You're just discontinuing the county's Up maintenance. Key. Of, yes. Yeah. So so the road will not be closed, so yeah. to speak. It'll okay. still be either a public pathway or a private road, depending on the how much it's been used, how, yeah. you know, how often. You know, so it's so it's it's kind of. But if when, anything. When, when, when we say closing the road, yeah. we you all don't. That's not what you exactly mean. It's discontinuing yeah. county maintenance, on it. but it's still as far as you know. Depending but on nobody's going to be on, able. Well, depending on the use of it, yeah. you know, if it's been used, you know, there's statutory law and stuff like that 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 can fall back on that. But it's if it's been public, if it's a public pathway, then that's what it is. Now, yeah. Again, that would be for the courts to determine. Well, she like said that. that it was private. Private, private property, property. so that, they said, can shut it down. Damn. She said that it that it emptied out. That it, that it oh. ended at their, in the middle the of the private property. Oh. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So the road is will be there. It's just yeah. the, but the, nobody the, will be able to use it though. Well, no, that's no, they that's, can that's, that's, no that, that's not that's yeah. not necessarily for our that's not necessary for us to determine. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, we're used to if it's a, if there it's a, when yeah. the end of Woolen Mill Road when there was a gate. That, that would be it. that would be for whoever wanted to use it, regarding who put a who who obstructed it. Yeah, it would not be a county road, so we wouldn't really have any type of issue with it. Yeah, so to speak. just come out of our inventory. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it wouldn't you know, wouldn't automatically be closed. Well, that's the same way down here than it. You know, well the if one they have a deed to a thing, do as they please. Please with it. I mean, you know. Well, it, yes and no. 
Uh, yes and no. I mean, again, sometimes yeah. you use you use the road as a, as a public road or a public pathway to where it's it, it's it's it would have to be considered that either some type of easement, prescriptive prescriptive easement. Now it has to be proved up by whomever is dealing with it. But again, that would not be <coughs> pretty for us to, to, to deal with. That would but, be that would be a their problem and whoever wanted access to it. it but so it would be a civil action. Yes, that yes, would have, yes. It would, it would but be if we get that property there, if the court gives that to us. That's not part of the property. That they I know. To us. Yeah. No. No. Okay. I'd like to drive down there and see what they're talking about, period, <laughs> before I do any voting. I'm now, now the, the road has been mowed. And it's been well maintained. The blacktop is probably as good as the blacktop roads are. But you're talking about coming so off of 127 to our property. Well, that's what I thought because, see, they used to call me all the time about the road, and I, you know, they figured out that it was Mickey's, but, you know, they was always complaining, not her, but the people before that had it, you know. Because people driving, you know, going down there to the creek, to Greasy Creek, I mean, you know. We're, yeah, we We're going to table it anyway. I'm going to advertise it again and bring it back up. Until the July. July. Okay. okay. We didn't vote on it, did we? So you're, you're, are you talking about from 127 back to where your property is? No. So it'll still be open. That's basically what's there now. Just from our mailboxes all the way down to the creek. Okay. That's what, you're, that's what is on the table, so to speak. Yeah. It's like right. point it's zero five seven. From the mailbox on over to the correct what it amounts to. Did you do all the favor? Can I do all in favor? All in favor. Uh, 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 I wish it it should have been a historical place. There is some history down there. Yes, they are. Not, not only was it a woman mill, but it was a paper mill, mill. and a steel mill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, next on the agenda is the uh, selection and approval of the bid for cybersecurity grant. And you can see there's a, uh, three, three bids in there. Uh, to go back a little bit though, Susan wrote a grant that you all approved before for the cybersecurity. Uh, it was $212,401 from uh, Homeland. Uh, part of that was to get us some equipment because our equipment's outdated. Uh, we we're, we failed the security test when they came in to do it on us. Uh, but uh, that this is just for the, the equipment, and uh, the low bid on it is uh, twenty three thousand ninety four dollars. Uh, we got we was awarded two hundred and twelve thousand, but the rest of that money is actually going to go to the ad office to secure an IT person for the 10 counties. So she wrote that into it after she wrote this and they got that. So the counties will get an IT person that will work uh, as an independent a 1099 employee that will do IT for all 10 oh. counties. That's, uh, I just need a motion to I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion that I'll pick back. number three. Yes. Sir. A little bit. I did. And second by Commissioner Richardson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed, same sign. She had to wait on that one a long time. She wrote it and then she had to stay on them after we was awarded it. We never got the money. So they finally come through. But anyway. All right. Anybody got any other business you want to discuss? Oh, it's not in there. It's not in there. I don't have it in the pocket. We can tell you what it is. It was on. Probably it, it, hopefully it's up a little bit more from last month. Than I, have uh, I will say that I did the trucks that you all approved. Those are ordered. They probably are not going to be end of September, and we're going to use less than half of that money, I think. So, and that's not costing the taxpayers anything either. But we'll get rid of some of this junk that they're driving around. We're going to have another auction. Then. We are as soon as we get everything together. I think we're going to do the auction with. Uh, Along with uh, community actions, got some of those uh, uh, miniature buses that they have. They want to sell some other vehicles. Yeah. It'll give everybody a chance to get their stuff in. The more stuff that's in it, the better. We did really good on that last auction on that job. So. More people you get. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, that's it. I'd like to thank Kim for what she does because, you know, it was brought up last time. They should have. But anyway. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, because she goes beyond and above to try to keep all of us straight, I think. Um, and also, there's uh, the judges' conference this week in Lexington. So I'm also be going to that. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, if you don't have anything else, I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make, make a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Just as well as the case. Secondly, I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Steve. 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 Thank